Hello everybody, welcome back to Perky's Adventure. Today I'm just gonna talk about my experience with Philippines as a child and um, what I like about it and then some of the negative things. So first of all, it's really nice here. A lot of people like to move here for vacation or even sometimes permanently when they retire because of how warm it is. It has a great climate, but that great climate also comes with some downsides. One of the main ones, and it's kind of one of the only ones though, is there's a lot of mosquitoes here. So I suggest that if you do want to retire here or move here, just to make sure to buy lots of lotion, bug lotion, like off, when you go to stores around here. Also, I'd like to say that the people here are mostly really nice. There's a couple rude people every now and then, but most of the adults and everybody here are really nice, and they'll always help you when you need something. I'd also like to talk about the internet here. If you're really used to good internet, this might not be the best place because the internet here is kind of off and on alongside with the electricity, but it's still pretty good depending on where you live. But even though you don't, might not have good electricity some of the time, it's really fun to just go outside because of the weather. You can take bicycle rides. How about just bicycle? Walk around. What's good? Here's Stefan's bicycle right here. So I recently got a new bicycle and I really like it because I like going around since there's not all the roads here are paved. But it's so, kind of have very so negative. Yeah. Negative size. Dot. So my first bike, because the roads are really bumpy here, hilly, and they're not like all paved, my first bike actually broke on me. So my mom complained to the company we got it from, and they actually allowed us to get another one for free. So. That's I, a good thing of it, yep. right? I originally had a blue one, so they let me exchange it for this red one. And since it's a quote unquote mountain bike, but it's not really meant for actually going off road, is what they told us. It's actually meant for like road or like gravel. So what my mom did is she hired she hired somebody so that they're gonna fix it up and add like better shocks and tires and stuff to it. So that's one of the downsides about having a bad bike here, but also. Ugh. It rains here like almost every yeah, day. Yeah, it rains a lot here, so. But it's, it doesn't stay long. It doesn't stay long. It's often on rain, so, but most of the time it's pretty heavy, so it's like downpouring. That's why they have these like little gutters along the side. You can't really see it, but they're like six foot deep holes and then the water just goes through it. It prevents it from flooding. So that's a pretty nice technique. Also, another thing I'd like to know is a lot of people here don't have um, they don't have air conditioning and it gets really hot here during the summer so I'd recommend you at least get some fans or something but if you live up more in the mountains it actually gets quite cold at night time so some Excuse people don't need what are there. Bus by? that noise that's is that right yep they yeah, what are they selling so sometimes like deluxe trucks or like even motorcycles they have speakers on them and they go around that say age da age da and that says the price or whatever they're just selling fish and sometimes it can get really annoying because uh -huh. they come around every like hour or so for like a couple laps and they'll sell you fish for a cheap price the only problem is it's just not as fresh as if you bought it from the market uh -huh. so yeah they'll just come around and since we live on a crossroad right here i see we live here in the corner yeah it's it corner. Gets pretty loud because you can hear everybody's cars and like especially the ishda ishda people tell people what's ishda ishda is another word for fish it's the filipino word for fish so um yeah there's also a lot of stray dogs around here which is really sad to see because owners will just abandon their dogs so sometimes you'll just throw them some of your leftover food and they'll be really happy to eat it. So if you have like leftover meat, you can just give it to them. Okay, is it, is it okay to tell them what do you learn Filipino to English? Can um, you tell me uh, five words at least? Filipino to English. So I, since I've been here, I've learned a couple words here. Um, Tagalog. So. Tagalog. Like, so I'm gonna say some of them, and I might not, I might mess up a little bit because I'm not the best at it. But I'll just give you five words that I've learned recently here. So mayun buntog, 
which means good morning. Boontog just means morning, kind of. And then Mayong Gabihi, which means good night or good evening. I think it's good evening. And then there's also Kamusta, which is how, how you say how are you. But it's also more commonly used to just say hi in Tagalog. That's three. And then um, those vehicles there, they're called tuk-tuks. I think Which in a, one, right here? Yeah, they're called, they're called tuk-tuks. In a, it's just like a three-wheel vehicle. In America, we call those tri-cabs, but they don't really have those in America. They're mo more like Asia and Europe, if you search around. So another word... You have... What, what is good afternoon? My own... My own... My own hapun? Correct. Yeah, my own hapun. My own hapun. Uh-huh. So that's that. What about eat? Eat? Let's eat. I don't really remember. Kaunata. Kaunata. Uh -huh. So that's another thing. Also, here, since it's really humid, your skin tends to get dry really quickly. So your skin dry? It's not really dry, but it gets dry pretty quickly. So I recommend maybe put on lotion, unless you don't care. I don't really care, so I just leave it like that. But they just, uh, your skin okay. just tends to get dry. Let me ask you, now, do you still miss America? I still miss a couple things in America. Like what? Like Wi-Fi and, um, I miss also having air conditioning sometimes because it does get hot here, but hot it's still really nice afternoon. here. Yeah, it's still really nice here. What else do you... So, okay, how many percent now you like it here in the Philippines? I'd say 75. Okay. Or 80 maybe. Okay. Uh-huh. So, it's pretty nice here. Um, it's a good place to vacation if you've never been here or even if you have it's fun because there's a lot of hotels beaches oh, But it does in the city. We live yep. in the province here in the province. There's not much to do sometimes But that's why you have bicycles you bicycle around and stuff Bye Are you done? Mm -hmm. Are you going to buy a somewhere there? Yeah, I'm gonna go get snacks. Okay I'm I'll take a, I'll filming you okay, Zach and he's going to the store Stay on the side, okay? knows already how to go by himself with that, that house there, the one uh, next to that tree, color flags. Next to that building, he's going there. Exactly. That's a mini store. He can buy snacks. He go by himself. He knows already. Well, well, he say like English, but people can understand. Arzaka right there. Stay in the side. Right now it's like four o'clock in the afternoon and it's kind of cloudy because it's been raining this morning here and right now it's cloudy, it's windy so but it's the, the, the air is very uh, cool so I it's good, it's not hot right now. And here is me more. Here is my parents dog. He had gone because he had uh, hot spots on his skin. So we took him to the vet and we give him antibiotics and iodine so his hot spot is almost healed there see and we have his low uh, shampoo also that avoiding for the flea flea or tech that's Nimoy so it's right here this is our neighborhood right now it's a lot of green. It's very cool. Listen. That guy, he's feeling a fish. 
that's what Zachary says. A lot of uh, vehicle here keep saying that is that is that it means it's that is fish. They are selling fish. see what's that's going here. Hi daddy. Hi babes. Why are you watching? K drama. <laughs> Back to romantic. He's watching his K drama. Oh the interesting nation is good. Yeah. Huh? Yes, very good. I'm filming you now. Say hi to your friends. Hello everybody. This is what Paul doing. If he's not on the computer searching some good stuff and he is watching his movie, the drama. Here is Zachary. I can see him now. He's coming back. What did you buy? Just some snacks. Huh? Where? Let me see. Show it to them. What did you have? What do you have? So first I got candy balls. See? Let me see. What is that? Show it today. I don't know. I just wanted to try it. They're only five pesos, which is like ten U.S. It's cents. It's like uh, uh huh. It's kind of like what's the name of that in America? I don't know. Like, it's like um, Sour Patch Kids, but small. Oh. Uh, I also got two of these because these are really good. These are also only five pesos. So, how much you spend? And then I bought one of these little game things. These are always really fun. I like playing with these. Oh, we played at Jackstone now. Yeah, it's called Jackstone. So, somebody, in total, how did you tell them when you bought uh, I just asked Ayo, and he came up, and I told him what I wanted. I first asked the price, because I didn't want to spend too much. Uh, you asked the price. Yep, so yeah. he told me the prices, and if I liked the price, I told him I'll, so take, I'll take one or two. he answered your English too? Uh-huh. What did he say? Um, she said, so what do you want? And I chose what I wanted, and this is basically what I got. And this is only 20 pesos, which in America is only like 30, 40 cents, I think. And if you won't try to get this much in America, it'd probably be like $30. So it's a pretty good discount. Can you try? Are you That's the eat? one good thing. You buy the one you to eat in one time. Yeah, I'm not. So, so you, how much you spend? Only 20 pesos. Oh, okay. So bye.